Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be testing a variety of HDMI leads from the Xbox One S console to a 4K TV. Now, when you get yourself the Xbox One S console, it does already come with a high-speed HDMI lead, which is a HDMI 2. But I'm going to be testing a variety of leads, and some of these leads go back six or seven years. So will they work or won't they work with the Xbox One S to a 4K TV with 4K resolution and also using HDR as well? So just to show you it working to begin with, I'm just going to plug in the lead it came with. And as you can see up there, it says... Your TV supports 4K, and then it's got a load of ticks down by everything that it supports. So as you can see, all the ticks are in green. So let's start swapping out the leads just to see what's what. Now I'm going to start with the most recent lead that I've got. Now some of them are labelled up as like you know one version 1.3. Other leads are not labelled up. A lot of these leads are just generic Chinese leads, but it doesn't mean that they're bad quality. I mean you can tell from this one here. It's got a nice weight to the cable. It looks like it's well made. So the idea of this video is if, for example, your Xbox One S is going to be very close to your TV, then that's fine. Just use the supplied lead. But what happens now if it's tucked away in the corner of the room and you've already got a five meter HDMI cable or a 10 meter lead that's you know, going over the ceiling, chased into the wall, you don't want to necessarily have to change that over to a HDMI 2 lead if your existing one works. So I'm just going to te test a variety of leads just to see if they do or if they don't work. Okay, so first of all, let's go with this one here. This is quite a, a recent one. It's not labelled up as anything, but if you have a look, it says high speed HDMI cable with Ethernet. Okay, this is a five meter lead, so let's see if this one connects. Right, as you can see, that one still displays the picture. So that five meter leads fine. So there's no issue with having a five meter length. And what I'll do as well is I'm gonna get a little coupler now and I'm gonna put two five meter leads together at the end of the video just to see if it will work over 10 meters. So let me get the coupler. Right, so I'm back again. I've just got a normal, very cheap female to female coupler and I've also got this swivel one as well. So we'll try both of them out at the end of the video with a five meter lead on each one just to see what happens. Right, so that one works fine. Now we're gonna try this cable here. This cable here is actually labeled up as a, there you go, 1.3. So this is a version 1.3. This cable feels quite lightweight, so it doesn't feel as well made as some of the other cables. This one does feel quite light. Uh, this one is a five meter cable. Right, so that's the silvery gray one. And again, as you can see, that also displays 4K and everything still tick. I'm just going to go back and forward just to make sure. Right, so advanced video settings, A, 4K TV details, yeah, and it's all there, it's all checked in green. Right, let's try another one. Right, I'm going to test this cable here. This one's a two meter cable. This has got no markings on, and this is uh, it's a nicely made cable. It's got a lot of weight to it, so it's going to have pure copper conductors. But this cable is actually a very old cable, so this cable now would be about seven years old. 
So let's uh, try this one. And again, it's displaying it. Doesn't look like there's any pixelation or any problems with it. Okay, let's go back to settings. Right, okay. So for the purpose of the video, what I did is I went out and I bought a very cheap pound shop HDMI lead. So obviously if they're selling it for a pound, then it's not gonna cost much to make at all. So let's, uh, let's give this one a go. No, it doesn't have any version on it, it just says HDMI cable. Yeah, so there's nothing off any interest on there. So let's plug this one in. All right, it's a little bit tight, so I'm just gonna put the Xbox on its side. Because this is only a one meter lead. Okay, so as you can see, it's not transmitting the 4K signal. So let's plug in another HDMI lead and then what we'll do is we'll come back to this lead just to make sure it's working. We'll knock the resolution down to 1080 and see if it's working on 1080, which a one meter lead is gonna work on 1080 because otherwise they wouldn't sell it, unless of course it's faulty. Right, so let's just put that one to one side and I'm just gonna try this other one meter lead. There's no markings on the cable at all. It's a generic Chinese lead, but again, it's a nicely made, nicely made cable. I leave it on its side because this again is just a one meter lead. It's not liking that one either. Right, so we've got an issue with both the one meter leads. Okay, now just to check those leads, before we go for the long 10 meter one, I'm just gonna plug in this white one again, and I'm just gonna knock the resolution down to 1080p. Right, so we've got the white lead plugged in now, and as you can see, it's come back again, supporting all the 4K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock the resolution down to 1080p, and just to try that pound shop lead and the other lead. So go to back, I'm gonna to go to resolution, I'm gonna put it to 1080p, and keep those settings, just to see if those leads are actually working. Okay, so let's unplug that white lead. And we're just going for that the black one meter lead that didn't work before, the nicely made one. As you can see, it works at 1080p, so that's the black one. Right, let's try the pound shop lead at 1080p. There you go, so you can see that the pound shop lead does work at 1080p, but not at 4K. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna try the five meter black lead and the five meter silver lead, these ones here, using a coupler just to see if they work. 
So we've got a 10 meter lead now going through a very cheap coupler. These couplers are not rated at anything. It's not like a special 4K repeater or anything like that. Okay, let's try that. and on 1080p it works fine. So let's put it back to 4K. Let's see if it can handle 4K through that coupler and over 10 meters. No, so it can't. You see that it's not displaying it. So what I'm gonna do is So it says that did not work. There may be a problem displaying 4K on your TV. So that's probably because we're putting it through a coupler and two five meter leads as well. So what we're gonna do is, let's, uh, let's get rid of this black lead and let's use the silver lead with the original high speed HDMI 2 lead that came with the Xbox. In there. Okay, so now what we have is we've got the silver lead, the version 1.3 lead, 5 meter, coming out of the Xbox One S into that cheap little coupler, and then I'm using the HDMI 2 lead going into the TV. So let's see now if that will support 4K. So close that, I'm going to go to resolution 4K again. Resolution, hold on, 4K. No, and that hasn't worked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now use the shorter two meter white lead, which worked on its own, and the HDMI 2 lead that came with the Xbox One S, just to see if that's gonna work. Okay, so that has worked. So, it looks like a coupler's okay to use if the length is short, but the longer the length, so it couldn't handle a five meter cable and the HDMI 2 cable, which looks to be about two meters. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to swap it for this swivel coupler. So at the moment we've got the white 2 meter lead coming out of it, coming out of the Xbox One S, into the coupler, and then into the HDMI 2 that came with the Xbox One S. So let's try it with a little swivel coupler. Right, so I've got the swivel coupler connected. Let's see if it can handle that. No, so it can't. So it's definitely got an issue with these couplers. So let's just go back to the other coupler again. There we go. Okay, so do you need to buy new HDMI cables? Well, it depends on the cable you've already got. If you've got cheap pound shop cables, then it looks like they're not gonna work even over short distances. But if you've got a decent cable, so for example, I showed you two cables here over five meters, this, uh, this silver version 1.3 cable, and this black cable here with ethernet, these are both five meter and they worked fine.
So what I would say is give it a go before you pull all the cables out of your wall. If you've got your cables nicely chased down a wall and you're worried about getting the Xbox One S because you're thinking you're going to have to renew all the cables, well give it a go because in this instance here it looked like more than half of the cables did work on 4K with HDR because it's all down there but there was also a few cables here that didn't work. So hopefully that gives you more of an idea whether yours may or may not work. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Okay, take care now, thank you.